I had a puncture. There's quite a bit of rust inside this rim, so I'm gonna wire wall that. I'm gonna get some new inner tubes. I'll just buy four because they're so cheap. And I won't have to be stopped like this again. I'm gonna wire wall that and cure rust it. And I've got smart casual socks. If you're wondering what vehicle a Honda Cub rider uses, if it's not a Honda Cub, it's a Volvo 940 Estate in gold with 218,971 miles on. I've already used it for a tip run this morning. Just saw something really weird driving into devices. Two big queues of traffic both ways. People take it in turns. You drive around, now you drive around. There's a tarpaulin in the road. It's clearly come from a building site which is literally next to the road. And instead of any of the people in either of the queues picking the tarpaulin up and chucking it away, they're just driving around it. So I've got out of the car, chucked it, and the traffic's gone. Totally weird. What a lovely, quiet, dignified, eclectic, old school feeling, has everything shop that was. Um, it looks like I should be able to support the everlasting running of that Honda Cub with bits from a little shop just across a hill from me. That is so cool and I've never been in there. So that's Stevens of Devizes, also next to one of the oddest shops maybe in Europe, uh, Old Forge Tropicals, a tropical fish shop. Um, both worth a visit and also, crucially, right next to the British Lion Pub, the best pub in Devizes, with parking. I still can't get over how wondrously lovely that shop was. So the wheel is nice and true, really true, but There's rust. Plenty of rust. Look at the state of it. It's very ungood. So I'm going to clean it with a wire wheel and then treat it with cure rust. Hopefully, that prolongs the life of this rim. Managed to get a rim tape there for one pound. Most definitely a goggles job, but luckily with the wheel in the vise, you can just spin and grind. Second thoughts, it's such a dust-a-thon, I'm going to put this mask on. It's cooled down a bit, but even wire willing with that mask on, wire brushing with that mask on was quite um, sweaty. So the idea is that I'm going to hot air gun it, which should blow out any of the rust and warm it up for the next step, which is to put cure rust on it. Um, it's something that converts rust into not rust. Um, so I'm going to heat the rim up to make it react more quickly and dry more quickly. I'm going to slap the paint on. Is this the right way to do it or the wrong way to do it? I don't know. It's going to be better than when I found it. And they always say that the best way of finding out the right way to do something is to show yourself doing it wrong inside the internet. So even if I'm doing it wrong, at least I get to find out more quickly how to do it right. Probably the quickest way I can think of of getting uniform coverage. I can smell something happening for sure. What? I'm not entirely sure. I'll look it up and put it on the screen. Good thing as well is that because the chrome is inert, it doesn't stick to that at all, it just attacks the rust. Yeah, it's flicking loads off now, so it's probably an ample amount. Slurp of tea. She's just coming to rest now. There you go. So it makes the rust almost sort of purpley. I suppose again I can expedite the drying process with the old um, hot air gun. Hopefully you're able to view that now. The rust sort of goes a metallic -y black colour instead of orangey brown. And that shows that it's um, it's worked. There's also like a, almost like a varnishy covering that it leaves as well. But um, yeah, I think we can consider that in better neck than it was. 
£4.95 Stevens Motorcycles Devices, rim tape £1 Stevens Motorbikes Devices, knock it back together, put the tyre on and hope it holds air. And just for belt and braces I'm just going to stick one spin of electrical tape around the rim um, just in case there's anything rusty or prickly or whatever poking up. Just pull it tight and it sort of naturally wants to fall into the, the cavity in the rim anyway. Just pull it to cut it. Lovely. What about the valve hole? This is an improdulator. Um, all we do is feel around. Indeed look around. Where's the hole? There he is. Sharp end of your improdulator and just sort of put it in and waggle it around a bit. And then the sharp edge of the hole and the sharp edge of the improdulator mean that any excess tape gets cut off. So the hole I made with the improdulus is still there and what I'll do is just poke that through, pull it through, okay, get the little nut on there, just gently to hold it, stop it, pop it around. Then you just got to sort of, you don't even need tie leaves I don't think, you just sort of wrestle it on with your thumbs. It should slip down in there, the reason you don't want to use tie leaves necessarily is that you can hurt the tube. Now under the watchful eye of Henry, I'm going to whack 40 psi on it and hope that nothing bad happens. I just need to whop it all back together, clean this spacer. More difficult than I thought. Yes, I should put them on first. Would you stop it? Okay, moist. Pleasingly rapid. Uh, all I've got to do now is put the cotter pin in to adjust the brakes. I can show you actually. Wind it in until the brake rubs and then take it off so that it just doesn't but only just okay so I've got three left they were only four pounds ninety five each mm, you're hoarding you're panic buying you're I don't know stockpiling well yeah I am but for 15 quid on a sunny day when I don't need them at least one can go in the top box and then if it's a rainy day and I have a puncture, I thank my sunny day self. The potato weight is just to keep the back end down and the front wheel off the carpet while I was doing my adjustments. And in the true spirit of a womble, I used bits of old inner tube to um, keep the tyre levers together for another day so they don't rattle around if I'm transporting them. Okay, we're in. Recycle that. Look at that. Bet my OBE's in the post. Services to oh, Honda Cubbing. <laughs> 